Right, since bringing back in the Gibraltar Challenge, I've realised just how much I love Football Manager. So we're going to do a second series alongside the Gibraltar Challenge. Now this one is going to be uh, based in England in a database that I have created, which is absolutely crazy. Um, and I'll show you why in a few moments' time. We're going to be taking charge of our very own team, Shabby United, and we're going to start from the base of my English pyramid, which includes all of the English teams in the game, plus all of the English teams that are now extinct as well. So essentially, we have, I think, close to 2,000 teams in our English pyramid, so it's going to be absolutely insane. Now, the rules for this one are pretty simple. It's all about utilizing the Youth Academy, really. We're going to be allowed one intake of... What, one intake? We're going to allow one transfer inwards per window. And apart from that, we have to utilize our academy. Um, essentially, what we're going to do with the academy as well is that... One of my favorite things on this game is bringing through great young players. And my other favorite thing on this game is bringing through players from really weird nations. So what I'm going to do is every youth intake we get, we are going to run through a random nation generator I found online and also a random number generator. Of course, the random nation generator will generate where this player originates from and the random number generator will determine their potential between 0 and 200, of course. So, we should end up with some very, very interesting players and some players get an international matches straight away. Now, I really enjoyed doing this because it just it messes a bit with international football as well. I mean, if we can create a few uh, really high-level young players for nations like, I don't know, like uh, Montserrat or St. Kitts and Nevis or Micronesia or Martinique, then all of a sudden we're going to see some, some different nations start to do well internationally. And I think that's going to be quite a fun thing to do, especially when some of those players, of course, are going to get poached by some of the bigger clubs as well. So it's just going to improve it and I think give this 10-15 years into the future, international football is going to be looking very, very different. So, uh, in this video I'm just going to talk through the database of what I've done. Uh, bear with me because I'm confusing myself with this database somewhat. Um, essentially we've got Shabby United, we are a professional team with a chunk of money in the bank as well. These first few seasons are going to be very, very easy for us. We do have a squad already, however, ignore all these players because I'm going to run all these through the random nation and random potential generators as well. Plus, I'm going to put them all to the age of 18. So we're going to start off pretty simply. Uh, this database is using fake players, so all of the top teams and um, players are not real. As you can see, Bill Dembele is the best English player who is blatantly Raheem Sterling, but we'll ignore that. Um, so we've got that to start off with. But first of all, let's look at our actual pyramid. Now, it is a proper pyramid. It starts off with one league at the top and ends up with eight leagues at the bottom. So the league at the top is the English Premiership, as you can see. 24 teams. Uh, I've done this all based off of the reputation. So as you can see, West Brom, Swansea, Middlesbrough and Fulham. They're the teams that have been given the extra boost been put up into the Premiership. Now, the bottom five teams in this Premiership will get relegated. Where they get relegated to, I hear you ask? Well, there's two divisions underneath the Premiership. There's English 1A, where the top two get automatically promoted and the bottom four get relegated. And as you can see, there's our first extinct team returned in the shape of Wimbledon. And uh, teams from three to six will be going into a playoff. Into 1B, again, the top two get promoted into the Premiership. And the third to sixth will go into the playoffs as well. So that's eight teams in the playoffs. The winners will join the top two from each league in the Premiership. So that should be pretty interesting. Russian Diamonds are back as well. Uh, then underneath this, as you can see, four teams from each of these leagues go down. Underneath we have 2A, 2B, 2C and 2D. Again, four leagues, 24 teams. Two from the top of each go up. Three from the bottom of each go down. So... It's a good chance for some of these teams to uh, essentially look at Leamington Spa, for example. Pretty small team, one that not many probably heard of. They're only two promotions away from the Premiership. That's insane. And Concord Rovers as well. Only two, or Rangers even, only two promotions away from the Premiership. So this could be really interesting because there is a lot of money being thrown around this database as well. And I'll show you that a little bit further on as well. But first of all, let's just start whizzing through some of these. So as you can see, CD as well. Then we go into 3A. 
Now, free A, free B, free C, and free D. Once again, all with three up and four down, all with 24 teams in the league. So again, we go through all of those, and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find wherever it is that you like or wherever you live or that sort of stuff. Well, look, Hayes and Yedding and Hayes are both in the same league. That should be interesting. Because, um, of course, Hayes uh, became extinct and created Hayes and Yedding with Yedding. We haven't got Yedding in this league, have we? No. Um, and then underneath uh, the 3D, we have 4A. Um, so this is uh, the first time we have eight divisions in one. So as you can see, we've got 4A, 4B, 4C, 4D, E, F, G, and H. Uh, two up, three down. Then we go into the fives. And then from here, it's pretty standard. So it's eight divisions in one tier. All with 24 teams, three up, three down. So let's just slowly whiz through these. If you want to see who's in each league, then of course you can pause on each one if you want to. Um, but I'm sure as we go through, we will come across a lot of them anyway. And we're going to go all the way down towards through the eights, through the nines, the point where all the clubs are now blue. And then we're going to hit, first of all, Division 10A, which is where we are based. So we are based at the very low level. Um, of course, alongside seven other leagues at this sort of level. Um, but like I said, it should be pretty easy to start things off. We've got, we're the only professional team. We've got a bit of money and we're going to have some really good players. So the first few seasons are going to be an absolute walkover, I think. So I think we'll probably go through those pretty quickly. And then we get to the Cups. Now, like I said, there's lots of money being thrown around this database. So first of all, we have the FA Cup. Now, the FA Cup is different to the real FA Cup. Mainly because I'm not quite sure how to do it properly in the database or the um, the editor. So essentially, every single club can enter the FA Cup in round one. There's no qualifying rounds, anything like that. So we could end up with Manchester City in the first round, for example, or Manchester United. It, it could happen. Um, some teams going in round one, some in round two, some in round three, because obviously the game needs to manufacture it. So the numbers will work out to have a two-team final. So that should be pretty interesting to see. Lots of money up for grabs. Uh, lots of prize money as well. And if we're lucky, we could get quite far in the foot in the FA Cup. You never know. Uh, next down, then we have the Carabao Cup. Now, this is where I start to get a bit confused because I can't remember what I've done with these. So we have got three competitions. The Carabao Cup. We have got the Challenge Trophy and the FA Vase, or the FA Vars, if you will. Now, these obviously include... Well, the Carabao Cup includes divisions 1, 2, and 3... Um, no premiership involved in this and again, there's lots of money up for grabs So this is a great chance for some of those teams in 1A or 1B or, to earn a, quite a chunk of money and help themselves get promoted in the future Then we have the challenge trophy, which is going to be tiers 4, 5, 6 and 7 Again, lots of money up for grabs. So it's a great chance for some of these clubs to showcase what they can do And then finally we have the English FA Vars or Vase, whichever way you want to pronounce it which is going to be Divisions 8, 9, and 10. So that's going to include us to start off with, and it's a competition that I really want to push to win. And again, there's decent amount of money up for grabs early on. And again, that's just going to help a lot of other clubs start to become professional. That's what I want to do, essentially. I'm throwing all this money at these uh, smaller clubs to try and help them become professional, help them develop better players, and really just turn English football into an absolute superpower. Next up, Community Shield, pretty simple. Winner of the FA Cup versus winner of the Premiership, nothing different there. Then we come up against the Premier Cup. Now, the Premier Cup is what the Premiership teams are doing instead of the Carabao Cup. The Premier Cup involves all of the Premiership sides, including a few from uh, Italy, a few from France, a few from Spain, a few from Portugal... Uh, I think one from Holland as well. It all works out, so there's exactly 48 teams in this competition. And it's just a great way of earning a lot of money and getting some of the smaller clubs in the Premiership an idea of what it's like to play some European football. Again, lots of money involved. Next, then we have the British Champions League. Now, this involves the winners of the Scottish Prem, the Welsh Prem, the Irish Prem, the Northern Irish Prem, the English Prem, second place in the English Premiership, and also the winners of Division 1A and the winners of Division 1B. Now, that's eight teams all fight together in an early season knockout competition. Again, there's lots of money involved in this one. It's really just a chance for us to try and give the likes of, well, as you can see there, Celtic, Dundalk, Linfield, and TNS. They're the teams that are in this one that are not English this season. It's a chance to throw loads of money at them and try and help them 
in the Champions League as much as we possibly can. So that's going to be pretty fun to do. Next up, then, we have the British Cup. Now, the British Cup is exactly as it says in the tin. Uh, it's simple, same as the British Champions League. It's all the teams in the Premiership, all the teams in League 1A, all the teams in League 1B, all the teams in the Scottish Prem, the Northern Irish Prem, the Irish Prem, and the Welsh Prem as well. Again, lots of money being thrown around. Not lots of money if you're Manchester United, but lots of money if you're TNS, for example, or a lower league team in Ireland. Again, another great chance for you to earn a chunk of money and become professional and just make those other nations stronger in Europe, which is one of my big plans. Then we have the All English Cup, which is a bit like the Gibraltar Cup we have in the Gibraltar Challenge. Essentially, all of the players in your squad have to have English nationality. So they either have to be English, have English as a second nationality, or they have to have played in the country for five years to gain the nationality. So that's a it's going to be a very difficult competition for us to start off with because if we're using a random nation generator, then we're not going to have barely any English players. But we're going to try our hardest to see what we can do. Um, but the All English Cup is just for the Premiership. Uh, I think it's Division 1, Division 2, Division 3, I think that is. And then underneath that, you have the All English Trophy, which is essentially the rest, Division 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So this is what we will be involved in. It's just a way to give us a, a winner of the lower level as well. And again, there's money involved to try and boost some of these smaller clubs. Next up, then we have the Bright Stars Championships. Similar to our Bright Stars Championship in Gibraltar, of course. Every player in your squad has to be under the age of 23. Now, this is one that I feel like we're going to push quite hard for. Um, again, the top one here, the uh, Bright uh, Star Championships, is just for the Premiership. And um, is it just for the Premier? I think it might just be for the Premiership, this one. Yeah. So you've got just the Premiership plus, obviously, as you can see, some big places across Europe. Some German teams, some Italian, some French. Uh, I think we've got Ajax in there as well because of their great youth academy. So that should be pretty interesting. Then we have the Bright Stars Trophy, uh, which is for Division 1A, 1B, all the way down to, I think it's 4 or 5. And then, of course, we have the Bright Star Shield, which is going to be our level, which is basically the rest. I think 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, again, this is one we're going to push pretty hard for because we should have a very good, strong, young team. And that is all of the actual competitions. The rest of it is all just reserve leagues, which uh, I've let the game sort out. So, I've got no idea how it's done it and all that sort of stuff. So, I'll leave that to it. Um, so, what I'm going to do is, in between this and the next episode, is I'm going to magically turn all of these players into a random nation with a random potential next episode we'll go through the squad who we have what our weak spots are we'll make our one signing and we'll also have our first game of the season which is going to be against fc stratford which i think is going to be it's going to be absolute whitewash isn't it really like i said i think we'll have a look and see what happens i think we'll probably just stick to recording majority cup games this season because i feel like it's going to be pretty dominant um, in the league, but we'll see how we get on. It's a good way to showcase the players and how they get on. But uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed this or if you're looking forward to this new series, then please let me know by hitting that like button. And of course, if you're new around here and you want to see this series, then hit that subscribe button as well. It's going to be uploaded every other day um, and the Gibraltar Challenge every other day in between. So it's going to be a nice little mixture of Football Manager action for you. It's a bit of a random one. I literally am just doing something out of my own head that I think is going to be fun for me to do. And hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the idea as well. Anyway, I've been Chevy Gamer. Thank you much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.